Hi, uh, welcome to the Resources Roadhouse. I'm Wally Graham, and um, uh, we're coming to you via the Roadhouse satellite now. Um, so we're settling in. We're talking with um, Scott Williamson, who's Managing Director of Blackstone Minerals. So, Scott, it's um, uh, been a pretty busy 12 months for Blackstone, uh, not even 12 months ago. Uh, you guys uh, you um, acquired the Takao project in Vietnam. Um, now, Basically, it came as a ready-made project, didn't it? Yeah, thanks, Wally. Yeah, um, thanks for the, the opportunity. Great format. And, uh, yeah, so we picked up the asset. It was already operating um, in 2013 to 2016, and then it was placed into care and maintenance. So when we picked up the asset, it, it was um, under care and maintenance, and, and over $130 million of capital infrastructure had already been sunk in, into the mine. And... And it was operated and built as if it was in Australia. So we're up in northern Vietnam and, and it was built by Australian mining engineers and metallurgists. So it's, it's a great starting point and a great sort of platform or a great asset really for us to potentially build a company around. And um, yeah, the, the previous owners did a great job of, um, of starting it for us. And, and luckily for us, they didn't do any exploration. So we just turned the rigs on and and got on with it. So yeah, we're, we're pretty excited about what, what we're going to uncover in the geology. All right, great. So basically, as you said, about $130 million already been spent on it. So there's a saving straight away of 130 million. And um, all the time as well that you save, that it's, you know, it's already been built and it's an operating mine. So um, just straight into it, basically, as you said. Yeah, so obviously we need to go in there and do a bit more drilling and, and understand the geology a bit more, but and that's what the previous owners didn't do. So our focus for the first year has been uh, uh, exploration and, 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 and drilling and, and really understanding and unlocking the potential of the geology. That will take a little bit longer, but at the same time, we've already, um, I suppose, uncovered this first ore body, which we think will be a mine for 10 or 20 years. So... There's another 25 targets that we haven't tested, so we'll now look at all of those. But I think the, the key thing is that we've gone in and drilled out the first ore body and we think there's a mine there already. So we're going to continue with these studies, uh, scraping study, PFS, BFS, and turn it back on over the coming years. So, yeah, a lot of work to be done on the development phase, but also yeah, continuing to unlock this yeah, exciting geology as well. So uh, the, the ore body you're referring to, is that the Cobra discovery? Yeah, so it was, we were drilling the Banfook disseminated and then as we were stepping through that ore body, we've, we've made this King Cobra discovery and it's a, it looks like it's a different phase or a different type of mineralisation than the, the uh, disseminated and it, we're now seeing massive sulphide within it and that, what that means is that we could be getting closer to a source of that, that intrusion um, or maybe a feeder zone or or a, a hopefully a larger chamber of massive sulphide below us, which would, could be the, I suppose, the, the source of this large intrusion. So it's a, a kilometre long, half a kilometre wide, very large disseminated nickel sulphide ore body. And now this King Cobra discovery is a different part of that same ore body, but it's, 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 more, it's higher grade, it's from surface, it could be vectoring us in on, the, on a really exciting, I suppose, high grade zone potentially below us, which yeah, we're pretty excited to see what that might be at depth. So, yeah, continuing to drill that out as we speak. All right. Well, so um, that means that, well, you've made no secret about um, looking for a joint venture partner to help you develop uh, the mine further to get things up and running. So uh, all, all that sort of success has sort of uh, lent itself towards that. And just this week you've uh, announced that uh, you've done a, uh, a placement deal. Can you explain, uh, expand on that for us, please? Yeah, so we're, we're raising $6.8 million um, at 62% uh, premium to the last traded price um, before we came out of the trading hole. Um, so that, that's enough to keep us going with our exploration, but also gets us all the way through to a bankable feasibility study. So Echo Pro is our partner that we've been working with for nearly two years now. And it's great to, uh, I suppose, bring them into the, the, the capital structure, but also they'll also place uh, one of their representatives on the board and it'll really build that relationship for the next stage. And the next stage will be where we work together to build a downstream processing facility in Vietnam for the Takwa project. So we started this relationship a long time ago now. Um, this is just first of many stages of this relationship. This, these guys are looking at a 10 or 20 year 
um, mine here and, and we, we can potentially deliver nickel battery products into this lithium ion industry or um, battery cathode manufacturer um, for the next 10, 20 years. So they, they're not too worried about the current capital markets and, and the, the, the uh, I suppose, difficulty that a lot of our peers are having. This puts us in a very strong position to take this mine back into production and produce um, the cathode products that these guys need. So yeah, we're really excited about obviously today's announcement, but not just that, it's the next stage where the big money comes in and and um, and they're already looking about uh, talking to us about what that looks like. And so obviously uh, uh, these partners, are the, um, they are the, uh, the guys to be with because they're uh, um, quite, uh, prominent in the, um, the, the uh, battery sector within Asia. Yeah, so the largest cathode manufacturer in Korea. Korea is one of the, I suppose, I suppose at the forefront of this lithium ion industry. So the largest players are Korea, Japan, and China. So we've this. They're also the second largest cathode manufacturer in the world. So one of the major players in the industry. So the cathode manufacturers then feed into the battery manufacturers. So their key customers are Samsung SDI and SK Innovation, and they're two of the largest battery manufacturers in Korea, but also in the world. So we're, to, we're playing with, the, with the, the big players in the industry. And the reason we're able to do that is because we're unencumbered and we're still unencumbered. We're, we're working with some of the major players and, and we're gonna move this back into production. Um, and that puts us in a stronger position than all of our peers. All of our peers are either locked into offtakes or they don't have these relationships with the key end users that we do. All right. Now, so obviously, like um, things are in train. I mean, there's also obviously a, you know, a hell of a lot work, hell of a lot more work to do. Uh, but uh, the, the the right things are in train at the moment. You're talking to the right people. They know the right people. They they know um, they they produce all the right uh, materials. They use the materials that you're going to produce from the mine. So um, pretty much. Uh, you're, yeah, you're, you're on the way. Yeah, and, and I think the other thing to remember is that these guys don't just bring the funding ability, they're also bringing the technical ability. So we're, we're working with some of the best battery chemical engineers in the world, and they'll also add value to our downstream processing. So once we can get this nickel into a chemical form, that's when the Echo Pro um, technical team come in and help us to convert that into the downstream uh, battery chemical product that is required for their cathode. So they're also, as, as much as they are a funding partner, they're also a technical partner and they're also bringing a very strong technical skill set that we also will need to deliver this downstream processing facility. All right, Scott. Well, um, uh, it sounds like, I mean, the, it sounds like the, the original purchase of the Takao project um, is working out to be um, uh, something of a, a, a very smart move on uh, the part of Blackstone Minerals. Um, as I said, it's only been not even 12 months and you've already uh, made such great progress. I suppose uh, we, all we can do is sit back and uh, wait while, the, while we're all in isolation and wait for the uh, news to come through and uh, uh, just to wait and see what happens. Yeah, thanks, Wally. Yeah, it's, it's very exciting to to look at what we've achieved in the last year and now, but more exciting to see well, what can we achieve in the next 12 months because we've unlocked so much value in this asset already. Now with the funding partner, we're gonna unlock even more. So yeah, really excited for the next 12 months and what that looks like for our shareholders, but also as our partnership with Echo Pro unfolds. All right, mate. well, good luck with everything. And uh, of course, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll make every effort to keep in touch with you here at the Resources Roadhouse. So Scott Williamson, thanks very much for joining us. Thanks, Wally.